Game Ranks presents the top 10 best new iOS and Android games of June 2016. These are our favorite mobile games of the month, and a little disclaimer, these are games that you actually have to pay for. Our free games list will be out later, as usual, but let's get started off with number 10. Game Studio Tycoon 3, if you haven't played the previous ones, it's like a dream simulator. You're tasked with managing an office of a game development studio, and it's up to you to make decisions on what game to make, how to use the budget, how to manage your employees, what consoles you develop for, and all the other little intricacies and different strategies. There's a lot here, especially managing over 50 employees, as well as even engaging with fans of your game. In the game, you can actually visit up to three different conventions per year. You get to choose whether you make games for smaller publishers or big publishers, work out the deals, and you even get to compete with other game developer studios. It's all pretty advanced, and it's a really cool little strategy simulator game. And knowing some of you gamers on this channel, this game is probably relevant to your interests. And at number nine, we have Teeny Titans. Teeny Titans is a figure battling game that is kind of like Pocket Morty's and Pokemon. It's got the whole vibe and animation style of Cartoon Network's Teen Titans Go. And basically what you do is explore a city, fight battles, and collect little figures of DC and Teen Titan characters. And sure, it seems a little juvenile and cartoony, but I just like Teen Titans. And this game is just likable for that reason, but thankfully it's deep enough to actually enjoy playing. The battles, there's actually a surprising amount to them. And I know some of you guys out there just can't really get enough Teen Titans, so Teeny Titans might be your thing. And at number eight, we have Pixel Cup Soccer 16. What's unique about this soccer slash football game is its retro style. This feels like an old school Super Nintendo style soccer game. And that's what makes it special and the fact that it's just very, very nicely designed. There's a bunch of different competitions to compete in. You can play with your friends online and just engage in a bunch of other different little modes. The gameplay is fun and simple, but fairly complex with some ball control and just basically stuff that soccer slash football fans really want. Not to mention with one purchase on iOS, you can actually play it on your Apple TV, which is pretty cool. It's out now for iOS, but it's releasing for Android soon. And at number seven, we have Dungelot Shattered Lands. This game is pretty simple. All you really need to know about it is that it's a roguelike dungeon crawler. But know that this is a really good, high quality one. The game is like four bucks, but you're definitely paying for quality here. There's lots of crafting, looting, four different characters to upgrade, 18 different dungeons to go through, and all the other RPG type stuff like merchants, boss fights, and all kinds of secrets and mini games. The Dungeonlot series is surprisingly popular and for good reason. The gameplay is good, the art style is very interesting, and the whole thing oozes production quality. And at number six, we have not a hero releasing for Android. You might be a little turned off by the price point, but you need to know that this is a fully fledged Devolver digital game. It was actually on PC first. I got my hands on it last year and it's really cool. It's basically a two dimensional hotline Miami. You bust into rooms, shoot enemies as quick as possible, use cover to your advantage, and you replay over and over again to try and get the best run. But thankfully there's a bunch of different characters to unlock and play as, and the game has such a weird Devolver digital style sense of humor. It's just a really, really charming and fun game. Although it is very intense Android game that actually requires a gaming controller to be hooked up to it. So just be warned. And at number five, we have Skater. This game has been on iOS since last year, but it's just now released for Android and it's really good. So we figured we'd mention it. This is a touch-based game where you use your fingers to control the feet and the skateboard. From there, you can do all different types of tricks. It actually kind of reminds me of the system from Tony Hawk Project 8, where you go into slow motion and manually flip your board however you want. Now, this game is based around that with a bunch of realistic physics and some real attention to detail. The developers actually teamed up with real world skateboarders and skate companies to design this game. I brought up systems from Tony Hawk, but overall this game resembles skate much more. So if you're into skate, this is kind of like a mobile version and you might have some fun with it. It's pretty damn cool. And at number four, we have Heroes of Loot 2. This is another action adventure RPG dungeon crawler style game. And if you played the first Heroes of Loot, you know what you're getting in for. It's a very classic pixelated retro style game that is a hell of a good time. The thing with these games here is that you pick and manage two heroes and you switch between the two characters for combat and to solve certain puzzles and you go through dungeons and you level them up and you know do all that stuff. It sounds pretty basic but just the overall design here is very addictive and totally worth mentioning. That's why we put it on our list. And at number three we have Pocket Arcade Story. This is developed by Kairosoft, the people that make a bunch of other simulator story style games and I gotta say it's just as awesome as all their previous games. Basically you're tasked with running an arcade. You worry about your customers upgrading your machines, making them happy 
happy, making players happy, and of course, earning money. It's a ton of fun and you can pick all different types of games from more carnival style games to actual arcade and pinball games. You can even run fighting tournaments within the game. It's really cool. Kairosoft makes awesome, awesome style games that are incredibly addictive and totally worth the money. And at number two, we have Lost Frontier. This is a Western style story based game developed by the guys who made Zombieville USA. This is a turn based strategy game, but with a really cool style. It's cowboy Western, but there's elements of fantasy and steampunk technology to this. And if you like this turn based gameplay, there is a lot to play through here. 24 different story mode chapters, 20 challenging challenge mode missions, and the ability to create custom matches and play with the AI or locally with friends. There's a lot of game here and a lot of strategy to be had because there's a ton of different unit types. So if you're a strategy game fan, Lost Frontier may be your thing. And at number one, we have Human Resource Machine. This released for iOS and it's coming out for Android soon. And it's from the creators of World of Goo. Basically what this is is an office management simulator style game with a bunch of puzzle elements to it. You need to use your office employees to figure out certain challenges and puzzles. And honestly, it's really fulfilling because when you figure this stuff out, you feel really smart. Not to mention that, but the creators, like I mentioned, are Little Inferno and they just have a really signature style and sense of humor that makes this game feel really cool and hilarious and a little bit grim, but also definitely worth playing through. It's unique, quirky, challenging, and addictive, and those are all things that we want in mobile games, so that's why it hit number one on our list. So guys, those are the 10 best new iOS and Android games of June 2016. These are the games that are worth thinking about and maybe giving a shot. Like I said, if you're more into free mobile games, keep your eyes peeled because we'll have that list soon as always. But I want to know what games you guys are playing down in the comments below. What mobile games have you been playing this month? And which ones have you decided are really worth plunking down your hard-earned money for? Let's talk about any mobile games you like down in the comments below because we can always learn about some new games from each other. And you guys know the deal. If you found a new game, clicking the like button is the best way to say thanks to us. We really appreciate it. And subscribing if you're new is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.